Ten rounds, the last round of Swiss here at tonight's standard FNM from Lost Legion Games. On the right, we've got Logan Cutlip. He's on three wins, so he's 3-1, uh, playing for a spot in the top eight. He's going up against Troy King, who's on 2-1, and one, so this is the pair down. Uh, there's a possibility that 3-2 makes it into the top eight, so uh, Troy does need to, or Troy can't just, like, scoop Logan in, you know what I mean? Who would do that? I don't know. Lux and Smyre all up in this. Logan is at 18. How did he get 18? Because he played at Sacred Foundry on tap. Oh, well, they're not keeping up that live counter. Well, once they remember that that's the thing, I'll remind him that uh, he is in fact at 18. So Troy King is just playing this Bant Aggro deck. I don't know much about it, but I do know that uh, he's won two games. <laughs> he's won two rounds with it. Spectral Flight. Ooh. Oh, that's a that's a spot to meet ball. Those are your charm for the blowout. Ah. Counter spell for the <laughs> other blowout. <player. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's nothing greater is going to happen on. Uh, <laughs> can you can you open the door to remind them to use the light counter? Hey, can you gentlemen please use that light counter? <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Or at least put your notebook up so I can see it. Nice U usually if they do it on the... Uh, okay, so Logan is being honest. <laughs> 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 this is... <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun one way or the other. Charm versus char charm on charm crime. Mm. <laughs> Super charm is pretty good, actually. I think they uh, all have their merits. Except for the... I think the girl would be the... Again? Oh! <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's down to six, right? He didn't update the life again, but he's still at six, right? Because he's on two lands. <laughs> he has a third. If this happens, if this happens, if it's the third one. If it happens again. Ooh. <laughs> it would have been so good. That was a good one. No. I'm gonna put up my, uh... Yeah, Evan Irwin found some foil aristocrats in a random box at his house. Way to go! Oh, man, awesome! Let me retreat that and favor it! You're cool, bro! <laughs> so, Adam, Adam, tell us how you really feel about Evan Irwin! <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty cool. He's an alright guy, I guess. Yeah. Just no lands coming, so... Get you for... Spirit. Spirit. Shake your hand. This is game one, you butthole. <laughs> Logan sat down and he was like convinced he was going to lose no matter what. He That's always, how you do it. He always then you it. will. Then you will. <laughs> That's how you guarantee failure is to express my limit. I'm, you might notice on this Twitter over here that I'm subscribed to something called Funny Vines. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I ever signed up for that. I think it may have just signed me up for it. That happens sometimes. I get random stuff when I'm on my laptop. I'll see random things in there, and I wonder. I don't know. I never get anything. I'm you know the first. Per you know the first person I ever saw post a vine. The yeah, local legend. They don't call him the local legend for nothing. I think you're the first person I saw post a vine. Mm -hmm. well, I gotta, Not like, everybody's. I mean, enough. I guess from where my uh, degrees in communications, I gotta keep up with that. You know. Yeah. Gotta be on the social media, which we, my mom told me I should delete everything because she does not approve. We had to wait to the. Well, I, <laughs> I only do. Yeah, I, as a grown man, I only do stuff that uh, on Twitter that my mom would approve. Yeah, yeah. Be careful what you post. That's what I get all the time. Well, if my sister wasn't such a tattletale, you, you do have to. Be, <laughs> you do have to be careful, especially someone in your like who's just graduated from college. Yeah. Like, you mm -hmm. can't just have like spring break 2002 <laughs> photos on your Facebook. Nope. Because people do, uh, people do, do people do use the Googles. Yeah, apparently you can't use your picture of you holding some bling in front of a Hulk. The only thing that pops up are a bunch of YouTube videos of me playing a card game. <laughs> yeah. Or the Black Author. I remember the first, <laughs> oh, is there a Black Author yeah. called Scott Wright? Yeah. You can do a lot of collaboration with him. I think it might be Jeffrey Wright. It makes a big difference if it's a different person's you name. You put that on your resume then. And be like, yeah, I wrote these books. Google it. <laughs> Google like, it. Yeah, did. But then the guy's name was Jeffrey Wright, and they're like, who is this guy? <laughs> is your middle name Jeffrey? That's my first name. Oh. There you go. Jeffrey Scott. So we learned something new. I, I did not know that. I did not know that. 
you have a lot of options to go by. Jeff, Jeffrey, Scott, Scott, Scott Scotty, Scotty S- Scott Trail, Josh, Mr. Right, yeah, Mr. Right. Orville, Wilbur, JG, right? No, JS, right? GG's, GG, GG's live, right? <laughs> <laughs> the original G. This is something that makes me feel old. Uh, Jeffy. Next I month, Ice T's, uh, or Ice Cube's, um, what's the song? Um, oh yeah. I Turning like thirty or something. He's twenty years old. Yeah. yeah. Well. I'm losing my mind. I mean, the '90s were almost twenty years ago, so. I know. I That's why it makes me one. feel old. That's how yeah. it works. Uh, Jeffy, can you go by Jeffy? That's what we call my dad, actually. So Jeffy. We call him Jeffy. Oh, so you can go by Junior and stuff like you know. You have I have never from, heard someone called Jeffy that, that wasn't a one-year-old child. It's from that movie. Um, <laughs> Oh, with, uh... Oh, Schindler's List? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dumb and uh, Dumber. It's this, the Special Olympic Games movie. Oh, with, uh, the, ringer. the Ringer. The Ringer. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh my name's Jeffy. So they all call, all my dad's buddies call him Jeffy. Oh, my Atlanta. Out. That was back when Johnny Knoxville was relevant. Yes, Johnny Knoxville. Is he still on? No. Uh, we had to wait all the way until round five, and that game was actually not very good. But it was very exciting to see double Azorius Charm beaten by double Civic Charm. Yeah. You know what kids call that? Call highlight that. of the week. Highlight of the or week. Or low light of the week, depending on what side you're sitting on. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very strict rule for my nomenclature. Highlight of the week is for awesome magic plays. Low light of the week is for everything else. I think I've been on the low light more than I have the highlight. Chris, uh, Chris Harless was on it one time where I made a low light of the week because Alec, he was playing against Alec Myers and Alec did something like goofy. This so was low light of the week. And it was like clearly about Alec making like a weird play or a dumb play or something. Yeah. And then like, as soon as I posted it, Chris posted it like, oh no, I'm in the low light of the week. I was just like, that has nothing to do with you. Like, it's not, al- it's not always like a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, they're not all derogatory. It's yeah, not, they're it's just not like fun. a jab at you. Like, hey, I sit in this room and I want to make this video making fun of something you just Crappy did magic me. player of the week of the millennium. It's like, oh, let's see this guy take six piles into one and then right on his plate, man. <laughs> <laughs> they call that the Vicar Special. They call that Tuesday Tuesday at Vicar's Diner. Uh, do you ever watch Aqua Teens? Yeah. You know Carl, of course. Yeah. Right? Do you know, on well, Scott Van Pelt's show, is a, it's a uh, ESPN radio... Um, it's a weekly radio show. Mm-hmm. During football season, NFL season on Fridays, he does. He they have a, the guy who does Carl um, does like a bit for him on the radio. And it's always about his pick of the week, and he calls it "It's Carl Stone Cold Pick of the Week <laughs> of the Year." <laughs> <laughs> Stone Cold Pick of the Week of uh, the Year. I'll just find those on YouTube, and maybe they're all straight. There might together. be of all time or whatever. It's like it's like Pick of the Week of all time. <laughs> <laughs> he always picks the Giants because he's a G- yeah, he's G-Man. A yeah. Oh! <laughs> I'm so glad you told me to do this. Oh! oh. Going <laughs> We're gonna take us to town. Since they changed ah! the name. Aqua Teen, you know whatever. Yeah, or whatever. They it just is decided now. to change the uh, change the name every year. I have a full second family. You think Logan wants this? <laughs> I don't know, why don't you ask him? <laughs> then we'd open the door and be like, Logan, hey! Uh, all joking aside, as we Dylan see Dry Milton make an appearance for Troy King, Dry Milton is one of the most underplayed cards in Magic, I think. I think it was like the most feared, too, when I came out and then... Uh, it, 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 like, here's the thing, it's a very quick clock. Like, people are not, pl- like, we're not in a format where people are playing a ton of pillars. And, like, it has just so much incremental value against so many cards. Uh, I used to play two copies of it in my Maverick deck before Maverick sucked in Legacy. Mm-hmm. And it was just, like, so good against the Snapcaster decks. It completely beats Dredge. Like, Dredge... Yeah, becomes, oh, yeah. It, game one, Dredge becomes just an awful... Like, they have to hard cast their... They're an awful Icarid deck. Yeah, because they don't have the... The, they, the combo is gone. Yeah. Because they lose Cabal Therapy and they lose the Dredge return. But, um... Do we cycle a... I think once? D- Garrett plays a couple copies in his Death and Taxes deck. I mean, it's a fine card. Mm-hmm. It's a good answer to stuff. What's Troy's answer to uh, Reckoner? Rapid and hybridization? Yeah. Azori's Charm of his own? 
sim- can you just simic- banging into it? I'm just banging into it. That's my. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going. That one's too easy. I'm just going to. Uh, just going to leave that one. One page ugly against that ugly. No. <laughs> That's just a little bit too brute force, I think. I mean, I'm very excited that we're almost to 11 o'clock and haven't finished the fifth round. Uh, and I have to get up. I'm trying to leave my house at 7.30 in the morning for uh, activity. So that's going to be fun. I took tomorrow. Oh, I graduation at 9 a.m. I, uh, I going to be there at 8.30 in Huntington. Yeah, but you're a young buck. You I can took, handle this yeah. stuff. Yeah, but I could sit there for three hours. Oh, won't you cry about it? That's your fault for going to college. Yeah, darn. <laughs> do, you know what I did my col- do you know what I did at my college graduation? Nothing, because I didn't go. Burn. Too cool for that. <laughs> He's too cool. It was a school. He was clearly too cool for it. <laughs> and that's, that's a pretty good... Well, that was a pretty good answer, because you can just... You can group. But well, well, but you, you still, but you still lose your, your board. But I mean, yeah. you two for one yourself. Like you can just never block it. You can spectral flight your militant. Yeah. It's funny that spectral flight is good. Like I remember when, like, uh, like when I was playing in fourth edition, like you, you would never play a creature enchantment because just like creature enchantment, sword of plow share. Oh God, because <laughs> you just you always two for one yourself. But now they've made it so that like you're not allowed to play good removal. And, uh... I don't know, they finally gave us Putrefy back, so that's pretty I cool. We were talking earlier, I think it's very interesting they re- reprinted Putrefy, but not Mortify. Well, why not just reprint all of them, then? This is the only two <laughs> cycle of those cards. No, you have Electrolyze? No, I'm just talking about, like, those clearly... Mortify and Putrefy, like, clearly, like, sister cards. Because they both destroy a creature and a disenchant part. Yeah, um, I can see. They both sound yeah. the same. Mm-hmm. I'm all for them reprinting Electrolyze. Yeah, me Do you too. know how good that card would be? Is that the two game and draw a card or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that you can cube, split right? it too. Yeah. So good. Yeah, you can split it. It's a fork bolt. But they gave us Turn and Burn, which is fun. Boros Charm, Killing Garrick. While we were talking about that, Troy amassed a pretty sizable board here. Doesn't work. That doesn't work. Yeah. Should we tell them? No, I think they read the card. Because you target the play. Oh, is it? I don't know how read it. It gives target permanent hexproof. <laughs> but, but with like, Planeswalkers, you're targeting them with the burn spell. Yeah, you're targeting every, the yeah, player. Yeah, you're targeting player. What, okay. Yeah. So it's dead. Yeah, so what do you what do? You do? Just hit that guy since then? Yeah. Eh, that's fine. No, 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 no. He... He just put, I mean... Pumped it now. I don't know. No, uh, Logan was doing that end of turn. Oh, okay. So he just bend his dude. And he's going to verdict. Hmm. We've lost a lot of time in this match by talking about uh, graduation. Random things. And awkward teens. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Well, it is also 11 o'clock, too, so... Some weeks I'm cheering for a split. <laughs> I took tomorrow off, so I don't care. Man, you just tear it up all night. I know, I was smart. Go home. All night. All night. I'm going to have that on vinyl. I'm going to check that out when I get back. I hope. And I have a Lionel Richie album. I just don't know which one. Sucks to be my roommate when I find which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> You have a very eclectic music style. Ah, uh, yeah. You you like listen. You're pretty in you're pretty in depth in the uh, historical catalog of metal, but then you also have an Eddie Murphy album. No, Lionel Richie. No, but oh, I do have an Eddie Murphy album. But that's yeah. the broken one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but I'll, no, I have the yeah, and I also have the soundtrack to Beverly Hills Cop too. That was a Christmas gift. <laughs> I'd hope it would be. I mean, <laughs> I could, <laughs> it's right next to my if Molly you... Hatchet flirting with disaster album. <laughs> I own two, as we see the Zorius Chump. I mean, this game speaks for itself. We'll just... <laughs> when, it's, when the Logan wins, we'll move to game three, and then we'll pretend we care about that one. Um, the, uh... <laughs> I own two albums on vinyl. Michael Jackson's Thriller, because I think... I'm pretty sure that's state law that you have to own that. I don't have it. Well, I mean, it's only the most... Pro- <laughs> what I thought was funny is when Michael Jackson died, I went to the Milton Flea Mark a few days later, and, uh... Like, he had... There was a guy who had Michael Jackson's, uh... The Thriller album hit up on the wall for like 50 bucks, you know, because he thought yeah. it was worth more because Michael Jackson died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That album literally, literally 
there are more of that album in existence than any other album yeah. ever made. Like it could not. There's no way it could be worth the five dollars I paid for mine, let alone fifty dollars. I think I've seen a lot of. Uh, it's the equivalent of taking a penny, nailing it to the wall, charging five dollars for it. I think the album that I see the most is Prince's Purple Rain. It's another popular one. Um, and then so I own that, and then I also own Sugar Hill Gang's Rapper's Delight. Mm-hmm. Why don't you have these framed? And out for that public- one's still in the wrap. You yeah, should frame it. I found that at a flea market for like three bucks. I was like, I don't. Which one? Sugar Hill, the rapper's delight. I said a hip hop, a hippie, a hippie mm-hmm. to the hip. The twelve-minute rap song. Yeah, it's like one of the first. <laughs> it's the one like, that has it's the, like the most. It's the one that has the <clears throat> very important line. <laughs> when you go, uh, what is this? When you, go, when you go over to your friend's house to eat, and the food just ain't no good. Something, something, something soft, and the chicken tastes like wood. <laughs> <laughs> That one also has some very good life advice is that uh, Hotel Motel Holly Inn, if your girl starts acting up, then you take her friend. I mean, these guys were well you gotta ahead. Feel, you got to feel 12 minutes, however you They're can. well ahead of uh, their time when it came to interpersonal relationships. I feel like they were the collective Dr. Phil of their generation. And we see the cards scooped up. And through a through a, uh, a winning sequence of magic cards and plays, Logan Cutler <laughs> wins game two and moves to deciding game three. Tomorrow we're going to the Eastern Yard Sale, which is like the giant yeah. ass yard sale. It's very fun. I don't know. It's like more than just a yard sale. I think sale. one it's of my friends like is a street block he's, party. Kind yeah, of. my friend. He's selling some stuff tomorrow. He sold. He was selling some stuff today, but I didn't drive down there. They just have like they have a lot of stuff, like not just like yard sales. They have like big sales and yeah. like other kind of stuff like that. Um, but my wife is super excited because we just got that little dog mm-hmm. and um, we're going and there's going to be a lady who's there for one of the for the church group that Holly's in that's raising money to have an area and one of the women is bringing one of my dog's brothers. Oh, oh so they so can be united. Oh, so good. And you know what's going to be awesome? We should have karaoke those week. Dogs, and they probably just won't even care. They feel like they're they seeing another care. dog. My dog doesn't care about me. Let alone, <laughs> and I feed it every day. Yeah. <laughs> it's certainly not going to care about another dog. Although it's funny, we do go to the dog park in Hurricane a lot, and there is another Yorkshire Terrier. That's what the, my dog is. Yeah. And, like, they just they seriously just chase each other around the whole time. I just think it's funny. It's like, they don't know they're Yorkshire Terriers. Oh, the dogs like, oh, don't know. Dog. It's, yeah. it's my son. They don't even know, I don't even know if they know it's a dog. It's not something. It smells like something. I better chase it. That's a dog's logic, because I better chase that thing. <laughs> you never know when it's going to come out and get you. So. That's what we should have one week, is just karaoke week. Like it's we true. just have, well, we just have this the magic going on, but then also in the, in the picture in picture, we just have somebody in here with the. I think that'd be very good. We're just singing. singing. Yeah. That'd be very surreal and just artsy. Fartsy. I will only do Tears for Fears songs. Hmm. I think I would do Eddie Money. I would actually. It's funny because uh, I would never. Uh, <laughs> I would never do karaoke. I can't sing in public anymore. Oh, so there was a time that you could. I was in show choir. Oh, well. Oh. Have, I, have I ever told you that story? I think I've told on the stream before. I was in show choir in the sixth grade because I liked to sing, and I thought it was, like, prestigious. Mm-hmm. And then I quickly realized, like, oh, no, this is not at all what I want to do because you don't just sing. If we're just singing, I'm all for it because I yeah. like to sing. But you got to move. Maybe you got to wear a, a sparkly tie, cummerbund, tuxedo shirt, and do like this. <laughs> That's not what I signed up for. But then my mom said, if you quit show choir, you can't play baseball. So three years oh, later, whoa. I got out of middle school. My mom to this day denies ever saying that. Why would I make that up? In well, what world would I make that up? It could be worse because my mom told me she could understand why women put their babies in microwaves. <laughs> <laughs> then, like, I was telling a so, funny story about like my embarrassment growing up of being a show choir, and then you told a joke about no, your mom no, talking about because, like infanticide. No, because the cool thing is for Mother's Day in her card, I'm gonna put that I thank God every day that she didn't put me in that microwave, mm-hmm. or that I'm too big to be put in microwaves <laughs> now. Uh, we can find them. If we wanted to find a microwave big enough. What is they talking about? Somebody's talking about, like, the payouts and stuff like that. Apparently, might not even be what it used to be now that I have to do emergency. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't say. I, I couldn't, I could never do karaoke. I don't even really enjoy it. 
Because like the, here's two, there's only like two people, two kinds of people that sing karaoke. There's like the kind of people who like they live their whole life to get they get like three karaoke nights a week because they just want to like they Show fancy off. themselves like a the next American Idol. So they take it very seriously. And then there's the people who are like three sheets of the wind. They're like, I'm gonna sing a song. We <laughs> <You> sometimes go. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Chad sometimes go to the, there's a bar downtown and they do karaoke, Mm -hmm. like, Wednesday, but it's all country and it's really weird. (laughs) Like, depressing country. Did you know Quaker Steak does karaoke? Yeah, I found that out. Because Dr. Dr. Matt, when, when, after I first met him, like, a couple months in, we went to his sister's birthday party up at, like, it was just, like, a bunch of people went out to get Quaker Steak, like, really, because they're open at, like, three in the morning or something dumb. Because it's, like, two in the morning, it's like a bar. Yeah. And then they, like, and they're, like, as soon as we got in there, like, all right, we're getting ready for signing up for karaoke, and I'm, like, no one told me this was going on. And then it was all country karaoke, but it wasn't even, like, the good country karaoke. And they, I, I told him, I was, like, I give it three songs before one of these girls sings Fancy by Reba Mac. Oh, my, like, that is the best. Second song. That is the Sec- best. I look like a freaking, you don't pray I, right now. I look like a prophet. <laughs> I kind of like to call anything. Jesus. That I agree a little bit fancy. There's two types of fancy. You have Reba McIntyre fancy and then regular fancy. I prefer the Reba McIntyre fancy. Gotta put on that red dress. Mm-hmm. Uh, so meanwhile, back to this game. On curve, uh, Geist of State Trap for Troy. On curve, think twice for Logan. Yeah, Logan slammed his hand down. I don't know why he's upset about. Like, his deck can beat a Geist, right? Yeah, with his Geist to around. Uh, he's not playing Geist. He's playing Reckoner, though. Yeah, Reckoner. Oh, he missed his lane. He's playing Supreme Verdict. Yeah, that helps. Get you for six, son. Charm that. <laughs> the Simic Charm heard around the world. I think that was better than the Lightning Gala, except Lo- for a tour uh, on a <laughs> No, that was pretty good. <laughs> What's interesting about that that people miss sometimes is that, like, it wasn't a misplay, but, uh... Like, Olivia Rule, who lost that match, like, he could have chose a line of play which would have prevented that from ever happening. Because Char, like, because at the end of the turn he charred him, and he could have put him at two so that he wouldn't have been able to char. But it was still pretty awesome just to flick it off the top of the deck. It was also funny when he, like, end of turn just taps and goes, char you, and the whole crowd, like, knows exactly what's going on. They're just like, <gasps> you just hear everyone go, Ooh. I've posted it on the site before, but I'll post it again. That was a very good one. It was a good one, yeah. I like to post those classic magic things. I like the, the last one you posted. Uh, Jacob Maynard winning the Grand Prix. Yeah. Like the just, infinity. Yeah. Guy flipped a ball, but like he, he could. A ball. Yeah, he couldn't win, so he just made. He just like played the odds and let uh, let uh, Orrin Beasley's Bob beat him. Why not? He also got like every match he won, he won like that, like. He won his winning in in the final round against Chris Cronenberger, who Adam Vickers has beaten at the Grand Prix Trials before. You remember that guy? I'm salty about that. No, he beat you, didn't he? No, I beat him. Oh. But we were... Uh, Why are you salty about beating well, him? Well, like, the, the whole summer, like, I was taking Mono Blue Control. Oh, and he's like... To, like, oh, yeah. big tournaments, and I was like, well, here's I could my play version. That, uh... Yeah, here's my version. He was like, blah, 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 blah. And then he breaks big with it. And everybody's like, oh, look at this cool new deck. And I'm like, it's been a deck forever, but... It wasn't a new deck. No, and I beat him with Merfolk, so it felt pretty good. <laughs> Merfolk's not the greatest matchup for him. It was Supreme Verdict. Well, with the force fields and stuff like that. I mean, energy flood, but... Energy field, I believe you were Whatever. Looking for. Two swings in the mist there. Uh, so, Logan is dead. Angel. Dead on board to, uh... The attack? Does anything give it unblockable? Uh, Angel. Block a Geist. Take five. Pump. Simic Charm for the win. <laughs> nope. No whammies. No, oh, just got another one. Uh, well... How you like now? Fancy wouldn't approve of that one no. if they had now. Here's your one chance, Logan. Don't fail me now. Well, put on that red dress. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> he doesn't have double what? Ooh. Clone, clone that bitch. Logan, clone that bitch. Lo- Cut loose. Well, I will. That should kill the guys. <laughs> I would like to remind everyone we try to keep the stream on a PG <laughs> uh, language level. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this has become a very interesting magic. Oh. Is there a bunch of people standing around them out there? Like it's, it feels like everyone is watching them. Yeah. <laughs> This is a pretty good one to put on camera. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Supreme Verdict. Like, he has the side ends as the verdicts, right? Like, he obviously doesn't have it. 
He has a Sphinx's Revelation. Is that enough? No. No. Because he can only gain two life? Mm. He's taking five damage at a minimum, right? He has a counterflux, so he can stop anything else. <laughs> it's huh? not quite as good now. See, he, he messed up because Wait. he telegraphed to Troy that he'd draw this turn. Not as good as his last one. Are you saying that? Not as good Are as you his saying last that one. Logan Cutlip wears his emotions on his sleeve? No. <laughs> you don't know the same Logan I know. <laughs> Someone asking in the chat where we are located. We are located in South Charleston, West Virginia. That is not the western part of Virginia. It's an entirely separate state. Where's your clone now? <laughs> That's what Skulking said in the chat. Sphinx's Revelation one for one. one. For two, and that's going to take him to one. And he... Did he draw his card? Oh, Did you get his card? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Logan Cutlip, ladies and gentlemen. I dig my way out of this, and then uh, Supreme Verdict for the win. Miracle Supreme this, Verdict. This would be pretty good, like, pretty good highlight as well. This whole match might be a highlight, because we talked about Tears for Fears karaoke. <laughs> oh, he's a boy's charm. This is dead draw, right? Yeah, I think it's a Jory's charm. Boros. He can Azorius Charm... It's like he can... No. He can Azorius Charm the Angel. Take three. He can... Well, he's at one, so he can just scoop up his cards. <laughs> he just scoop fades it. Well, I can't see the other cards in this deck. I think he, I think he's drawing that. Has he played... Charm, a, think twice. Has he played he a land? Twice. No. He can think twice. So he has no land. This is all spells. Boris Charm, think twice. Azorius Charm. Counterflux. Counterflux. Maybe one or two more. Even with a Snapcaster, there's no... Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, because he only has five lands. Yeah. Well, I mean, you just, like... Snapcaster, I mean, Charm, I give him, I give him take one. Yeah, that does work. Ooh, Detention, Detention Sphere. Ooh, that has to be the worst. That's frustrating. So he can't, he can't well, survive this turn, yeah, is what you're saying? No. Snapcaster, Charm, didn't you say? He'd no, he could, he'd be at one. Or he'd... Oh, the, the ever elusive big handshake. Ooh. Do you know if these guys? Are, do you know if we're close to being done? Oh God! What? Somebody took out our hand. Oh, that was in his hand. Oh, Ooh, that was in his hand. Ugh. Yeah, hey, one of those is mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, Scott, oh, congratulations man. to Scotty's Ooh, right. Congratulations to Scotty's right advent of the worm that moves on into the top. Scotty, eight. that one's mine. Right. Yeah, <laughs> Scotty still had all these. Still had all these. Um, what's, are we, are we done out there, maybe? I don't know, everybody is, like, legit. I know everybody in the club getting tipsy, that's what I'm saying. There's a couple people. Uh-oh, it's, line, you know what time it is, time for roll call in the chat. Where are you from? <laughs> we got, uh, Tasmania, Who Australia. Got? Who you got, kids? Smoke them if you got them. We got Ontario, <laughs> Maine, Missouri, Spikemaster from Boston, we all knew that. California, lol. I don't know why that's a lol. <laughs> Ontario, Iowa, Washington State, Glasgow, that's a Glasgow, Scotland, there are several Glasgow's in the U.S. as well, but none of them are as interesting. Glasgow is Rangers, isn't it? Staffordshire in the U.K., Ogden, Utah, Utah, first, first appearance by Utah in the chat. Oh, Rudy uh, Ruska is, is watching. You might be saying, hey, who's that? Uh, only featured in uh, uh, Star City SCG Open Deck Tech on his oh. rug mid-range deck in the round three feature match wearing Perry the Platypus hat. Whoa! I met Rudy at uh, Pittsburgh yeah. where he was about to play in a, uh, win a legacy win a box with A.J. Kerrigan's Storm deck. I don't mean A.J. Kerrigan's list. I mean he borrowed A.J. Kerrigan's actual oh, deck. Yeah. AJ Kerrigan, that's you talk about classic magic. That's classic magic seven right there. Oh, AJ, put it on the list. AJ Kerrigan, write that down. Versus James Rankowitz. And the uh, one classic magic number seven. I know. It's one of my best best features. Uh, who else is in there? Columbia, San Diego. Yeah, the PT is there next week, which is a shame. South Africa. <laughs> One guy saying he just lurks most weeks. Phoenix. Syria. Is someone really watching from Syria? Uh, who is that? Dr. Crimson, PhD? 
I'm very curious if that is some, like a military personnel or maybe like some kind of something. Pumpkin Man thinks people are lying. <laughs> if I know anything, it's not to trust a Pumpkin Man. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched. I've watched enough. I've watched enough Sleepy Hollows to know you don't trust a guy with a pumpkin head. That guy's trying to kill you, ass. It's the Hessian. Christopher Walken, son. Earlier, oh, our pumpkin earlier I came in here and uh, there was just this box that just had all these goblet shrines and rares in it. It was Garrett's. But he just like left it in here. I didn't know. I was just like, oh, this is my paycheck. Oh, cool. My paycheck for the week. <laughs> so, uh, are we getting ready for uh, the finals? Mm -hmm. so you guys are in the top eight. Let's see. Uh, uh, we got Jeffy Wright over here. And we got... Uh, <laughs> The local legend. And the Vickers. Uh, so who else is in the top eight? I heard uh, I heard a team trying to draw was trying to draw out there. Mm. Um, so you guys are in there. You playing Aristocrats Part Two? You playing Bug Control? Is that your own list? Yeah. That's very cool. Are you playing Progenitor Mimic? That's a no. If you, I don't even know that. Anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Tony. No. And, I think Tony yeah, and Yen drew. Tony and Yen drew. So there's a Bant Control and the Jund. Uh, Joseph Deal and Alec. Should I be They playing? drew, so... Uh, Joseph is Give playing Black White Humans, and Alec's playing Junk Tokens. And then, uh, Troy might make it in. Looks like there's going to be a couple of three twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be two three twos make it in. Should yeah, be interesting. Yeah, I don't know so, why I uh, take the main. For I mean, really, it seems really good against like Angel of Serenity. Yeah, I'm really uh. Basically, it's a it's a six drop clone. metamorph effect, a clone effect that every turn the original copy in the upkeep it makes another copy. A token of yeah. It's, it's, it's the same creature, right? Same creature, yeah. Okay, so it gets it basically it's most degenerate in the decks that play Drag Tusk or that play Acidic Slime. Acidic I play Drag Tusk. It's very brutal against Acidic Slime. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a good sideboard card against like a like. Yeah, control. I can see this. Did you sideboard into Acidic Slimes? No, I didn't put them in my thing. My sideboard's not that great. Yeah. If my deck's already good, I didn't really need a sideboard. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I really like a Dead Bridge Chan. Mm -hmm. Like that card has been doing. I think so that card is like work. super underrated. I think a few yeah, Rudy's, people. Rudy's talking about. It. I think he, he played it in his uh, his deck as well because he was road. But yeah, like if you just side into like a six slime package. And yeah. yeah. Well, I was going to do the Dead Eye Navigator that Max did with his. Yeah. But I told him he was a jerk for doing that. I mean, <laughs> it feels really good the first time you do it, but the fr it feels very good that when you're casting Dead Bridge, uh, when you're casting Dead Eye Navigator, but the first time you activate it and blow something up, you start to feel awful yeah. about yourself. Like, I felt awful getting, like, two curses of death hold out mm -hmm. against people, and then they have, like, all those cards in their hand that they can't play, and I'm like, well... You, were you here that week that Max Double that did that No, thing? I saw it on the stream, though. <laughs> like, all the videos... John like, over his shoulder just says, don't play that, <laughs> as he goes to play that second. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't know what I was doing that... <laughs> that's a highlight, or that's, a, that's like one of the notes. But I told Max yesterday when I was getting cards for my deck. I was like, you were, that was the jerkiest deck you've ever played. You were a total jerk with I mean, that. I like, fun. what? Why did you say is this, that? Is that the, yeah, it's Rudy. Really, so nobody's playing Rug. Nobody's playing Rug. Adam is playing Bug. What, so let's, let's, let's go over the core contents of your deck here. Creatures, what? four death rights, three snap casters. Four death rights? Yeah. Is that... Is there a particular reason why you're going all in on the death right? I like death right. You just like it. I like them. Liking a card is a fine reason to put it in the deck. Fourth rack tusk. Mm -hmm. Because you're a deck in magic, so you have to play. Yeah, totally. Right? I'm playing green. Mm -hmm. Two aetherlings. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. How's that been doing for you? Um, ask Shen because I beat him with one of them. Yeah, well, he can't ever he can't ever kill it because like most of his removal sources. No, I mean it's speed. been like I played against Gibbs and he's playing the Prime Speaker band and it was pretty good with that too. I mean. I don't know, have an unblockable dude and then basically flashing in and making it untappable. I mean, coming back in untapped. I like it. And I'm playing three Future Fives, two Abrupt Decays, uh, one Dead Bridge Chant, two Lilianas, 
one Verasco, one Jake. So you're playing Archive. two Dredge Machant in the main. Playing one. One. Are you I'm playing, playing Snapcasters? Yeah. I'm playing three Snapcasters. So you can get like some incremental value yeah, off. Yeah, and of then like the Death Rites. The Death Rites. The Death Rites kind of help. Yeah, help that because they, they um, they shape, they sculpt my graveyard basically. Once I have the chant out, so I can take all the lands out, all like the forests and stuff. I don't want to get back. So I just get back, you know, putrefies every time. Marie's saying he has a podcast now. I didn't know about this. So let me know what it is, and I'll share it on our thing. Glory Seekers. That's very close to being a joke that we can make. There's, did you ever watch Talk Soup? Or any of those shows, best yeah. we can ever? Did you ever watch the show Gold Rush? There's a term in gold mining called the glory hole. <laughs> and it's just like, but the, all, like every week on the talk suit, they just have the, there's like an old guy on Gold Rush, the daddy, he talks like an old time, he talks like a prospect. He's just constantly saying, uh, he gets stuck in the glory hole. There's a lot of mud in the glory <laughs> hole. He's convinced he has to spend more time in the glory hole. Oh, oh, Technically, it's the spot uh, underneath a waterfall, like an old waterfall, where like all the water turns and so it digs deeper, like down in there, and that's where like all the gold would settle because it's like the lowest velocity of water. But in the perverted 2012 or 2013 mind, it's just uh, inappropriate. So that's happened. Uh, and you can talk about how he took his son to his first glory hole. And now Rudy's giving me a hard time because he's posting on Twitter all the time. Uh, I literally have never seen it. If I had seen it, I would have gone and checked it out. I do not wa I will mention this. I do not listen to any magic podcasts on a regular basis. I listen to one. I do not typically enjoy them. I listen to one, and that's the drive to work that all the Mark Water has. Yeah, I don't... I listen to... I have listened to a couple of those. I think it's very novel. I think it's a very yeah. cool idea. But uh, sometimes I can only sometimes I can't stomach Mark Rosewater. I just can't. I can, I can, small doses. Well, I think the best part about it is that it's thirty minutes. Yes, like there it's is always going to be like thirty minutes. Yeah, some of those it. some of those like eight teams and like the bridge and stuff like that. They're like over an hour, like an hour yeah, and a half long. Like two months. no one wants to do. I don't. I don't even like to watch a movie unless it's like a tight one thirty, maybe one forty, a tight one forty. I'm looking for. If I ever become president, I'm going to make it a federal law that movies when cannot exceed two minutes. When you're watching the Titanic, where you're just like, I'm it up, I know how this ends. I watched uh, <laughs> it. It's too long. You looked at your watch, and you're like, they all die. And then you just got up <laughs> and we left. Have, we had not seen, uh, to date, the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Okay. And we watched that this week. And I have not... That movie is like 240. Yeah. And mm. I was enthralled the entire time. It's been a long time since I've watched a movie. I was just like, oh, for like three hours. The last three, I, we watched There Will Be Blood. Have you ever seen that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, so like, I'm, like I'm oil and gas guy, so like, there's also that like aspect of it's interesting to me. But like, I love that movie. But we had to stop like halfway through. Yeah. We just took like a thirty Take minute a break. break. <laughs> yeah, just, <Rest>. like, <laughs> and like, I don't go to see movies in the theater at all either. Because like, just, first of all, I'm just an old man. I'm just like, oh, I'm too tired to go. Gangs of New York was another long. Movie. That's, that's also really so good. good. That one was good. Is so it, I watched that. So what we're saying is, we've discovered, I think I've discovered a pattern. Three-hour movies are okay as long as Dana Day-Lewis is yeah. <laughs> Lincoln is the movie we're getting in Netflix tomorrow. I've had I haven't John, seen it yet. I think I've had John Dodds from Indiana from Netflix. Oh, it's on, it's on streaming. Yeah, I know. Well, I thought it before it was on streaming, so, you know. Uh, so they didn't mail that back to him. Thanks for tuning in the stream where we talk about what's on our Netflix queue. Normally they send me an email and it's like, hey, did you get this? Mm -hmm. Uh... Yeah, so let's see what else is going on in the chat. Mm. Somebody's talking about Human Reanimator, which seems a lot of a little bit out of context. But everybody else is talking about uh, about podcasts. I think human it's always good. You get some free wins because people don't have uh, don't have graveyard hate. Oh, I got some. Names. Rudy's saying that his uh, podcast is Scotty Mac approved. It's always a good uh, vote of confidence. Heavy meta goes over two hours. It's great to kill time at work. I can't... Eh, no, I can't do it. Uh, so it's a pumpkin man coming, coming in strong with... Spoiler warning, Lincoln dies. <laughs> That's pretty good. What decks were played tonight? That's a good thing. Let's go through all the decks that we know. These guys played Aristocast Part Act 2 and Bug Control. We had an Esper midrange... 
Bant Control, Bant Prime Speaker, Bant Juns, Bant Auras, Bant yeah, Bant Auras, the Black White Humans, the Red Black Vamp, like a zombie vampire thing. That's what Brienne was playing. Yeah, it was straight up vamps. Vampires. Happy Bear Nocturnus in it. Top eight. Top eight. Nice. Am I in it? Nice. Adam Vickers number one seed. Scotty Ray number two seed. Also making the cuts uh, are Yin Sang on Jun, Tony Stewart on Bant, Alec Myers on Junk Tokens, Joseph D on Black White Humans, Brandon Hart on uh, Hexproof, Bant Hexproof, and Troy King sneaking in. Ooh. The Kinger. King me, that's what he said. Logan. He won. Logan lost, so he could. that sucks. Well, he has better tiebreakers because he beat yes. Logan. One of the oh, bad ducks in the top eight is using progenitor mimic and drag tusk. Which that's one? Scary. Tony Stewart. Yeah, Tony mm-hmm. is. Which, uh, which list from the internet was that? Uh, I think it was the most recent one. That <laughs> of, course it was. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> of course it was. Of course. Is he playing Frost Titan in that one too? Oh my gosh, is that legal again? Yeah, I love that here. card. Uh, Holy crap, that's the so best I'm not even joking about it. Lodor88 is asking yeah. if your Act 2 deck has any Dragon's Maze additions. I don't think it does. Mm-hmm. I tried two sync collectors last weekend on the sideboard. Uh huh. Just determined Teres was better. Teres is just way better. Yeah. Because it costs one. Yep. You know what costs and three you in your deck? Yeah. Do you ever play Appetite for Brains? Uh, at one point I had Appetite. I, I don't think appetite, you really care yeah. about, like, playing Walkers. Because you because... just go over the top with Blasphemous Act, don't you? Appetite, but I pretty much brought that in against John for Thraxus, <laughs> but I just. This is a so. good quote tonight. Uh, Blitz Sniper said, Is it weird that his milkshake brings all the boys to the yard? Are you texting that to your mom? Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't like it. My mom, if you really want to make your parents mad, find out your conception date, and then ask them what happened. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is like way too personal uh, epidemic stream this week. <laughs> where Vickers just talking about... Uh, Jello. No. Ink or Jello. That's what color the Jello was. Could be. <laughs> Could be. Anything. That really makes so we've got to. Uh, all right. So take note. 